Hello and welcome to another episode of In Retrospect. This time we are on Mars. We have a electronics colony. Um, we have the basic four factions. We are up against some competition this time. We have myself, Morgan, Tudeback, and Colonize. Um, every single player in this lobby is a star player. Um, so, Morgan and Tudeback, I know, are definitely top players in the game. Colonize, I see occasionally, but I don't see him very often. Um, in terms of founding spots, I see this spot here. This is this is a scientist dream, and if anything, I actually play it slightly wrong. Looking at it now, but this spot is a nice scientist spot, I think, because you got some nice water. It's not the great water shape you like. Um, some good iron that you can use for some steel mills. Um, getting back to this water patch, it's unfortunately a hex shape, which is actually not the shape that you want for uh, water patches. You want, you'd rather a shape like this, kind of a rhombus parallelogram, there we go, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, so that way you can fit a triangle here and a triangle here. You can't, on a hex, you can't fit um, a two triangles on it. You can only fit one triangle, which is unfortunate with a hex. Um, even this shape would have been better. You can fit a diamond and a triangle. Anyway, um, that doesn't come up that greatly. Um, so yeah, this there's this spot. There's kind of an expansive spot here. It's got some low water, which is an unfortunate. Um, there's this iron spot up here. doesn't have much water, but it does have some. And there's some water down here, but it's not next to much else. This is all dry ice, so this is all carbon and oxygen producing ice. So that's why I like the scientist. And so that's what I go for. Crushing a bit of water. And I think... No, I don't crush a bit of... Well, I crush this bit of iron. So, found here, go for two farms, because farms are, uh, food is high. Uh, steel isn't half, though, unfortunately. So, I go for two farms, and I go, f well, I should have gone for a steel mill, but instead I buy up my aluminum first, instead of going for the steel mill, which I shouldn't have done, because I'd rather produce the steel and get it producing. But the farms come online fast enough that I can go for the steel mill shortly, I think. I do go for a steel mill. Wow, I take a lot longer on that steel mill than I probably should have. Anyway, let's speed this up. Um, they haven't found it yet, but they do eventually found taking these two. Yeah, Morgan takes this spot. Um, Tudebeck takes this spot up here, or no, Colonize takes this spot up here, and then Tudebeck comes over here as a scientist, which is kind of an interesting spot. Um, I get to HQ2, I go for two steel mills, and I believe I go for a farm. Yep, I go for a farm, two steel mills, and I get this 2k claim somehow. Um, I don't know how I got the 2k claim after founding first, but I somehow did. I go for this high aluminum over here because aluminum is getting high. Um, Morgan does have aluminum, but Tudback won't really have access to aluminum. He does eventually get some, but... And then Colonize does have some aluminum. So we got three high aluminum tiles. Um, there are nukes, which are unfortunate, but it makes the scientist play much nicer because you can't be nuked out of your science bonus. Um, so yeah, HQ2, we're going to get to HQ3. There we go to HQ3. I decided to go for some wind turbines. Um, this solar condenser here is maybe a mistake. 
Um, it's not a mistake that'll that would sh show itself in the length that I'm in this game for, but if I build this over here instead, when I get another claim, I do get this 10k claim. I want to build adjacent to this, um, and maybe I should have just gone for another wind turbine instead of the solar condenser, or instead of either this solar condenser or the solar condenser that I built with this 10k claim, but right here, this is a nice triangle that you can use for other stuff. Um, but once I build it, once I build or once I claim this tile, this tile becomes kind of awkward because for as long as I want to keep up wind turbines, I don't have a good shape to use. Um, so I think this maybe should have been over here instead. I don't know. Here I grab. Oh no. I blow up his um, colonizes geothermal because it wasn't good. I figure I might as well hurt him because it looked like he was in the lead. Hey look, it's the same as in one of my previous games, my little limbs being pirated. I go for triple chems, they unfortunately get power surged right away. Um, and then my aluminum gets nuked out. Uh, yeah, I saw the chemical shortage and chemicals. I have the free carbon, so. This is. Um. This is what the unfortunate part about the shape is. Is. Okay, I can build. Some electrolysis reactors here, but I can't quite get good adjacency on them. I can get kind of a row of them, but I can't get a uh, triangle of them. Yep, I'm getting constantly power surged. I think Morgan, well, I guess I'm the one that power surged Morgan after Morgan power surged me, so that makes some sense then. So as I was say, me and Morgan look like we're the two leaders in this game currently. Um, two back is an HQ behind. His spot isn't really that great, so. And Morgan has a lot of debt right now. I don't know how he has so much debt. I get power searched by Colonize here. Um, again, I can kind of understand it, but Morgan does have the HQ on me now, but he did have two additional stocks in himself than I did and I don't know it just looked like he was a little more uh, little stronger position um, I nuke out his high water that he had over here making it a low maybe he should nuke the medium don't know if it really matters get up to HQ5 um, so this is this is where the awkwardness of this tile kind of shows itself is... And this is maybe just from where I built stuff now, is these glass kilns maybe should have been over here um, instead, but don't really know. Okay. Yeah, the audio resets itself each time, what's with that? That's really annoying. Um, this high aluminum for auction, I don't particularly care about that at all. So, I have the aluminum I need, all the extra aluminum I produce is now extra. Um, so yeah, here we've got two, two random tiles out here with the triangle here, and um, I forget what I do with this last. Oh yeah, I go for an optimization center out here, I think. So yeah, now I've got these two kind of tiles that are awkwardly placed. Um, I think instead better just do one as a wind turbine here, which I eventually do, and then maybe another one just make this a diamond of 
farms or at another electrolysis reactor or something. So, we've got two optimization centers up and running. Unfortunately, Colonize gets thinking machines. I think I thought about going for thinking machines, but I unfortunately don't get it. Um, so yeah, now this tile becomes an optimization center, and now it becomes kind of even more awkward, the tiles. Okay. I'm just gonna mute the music, because it refuses to... Oh, that's menu music. There we go. Okay. Since that... the audio refuses to accept. Okay. It feels weird without the uh, music. Um, so yeah, food is now quite high, and I have this extra water tile that I'm not doing anything with. Um, it probably doesn't really end up mattering long term, but it's definitely something that I could have improved on. Everyone blows up each other's uh, pleasure domes, so no one has any pleasure domes at the moment. Uh, let's slow the game down to fast. Colonize does have um, an off world up. Everyone can see it, there's no holograms. Um, chem surplus kind of sucks because I'm producing chemicals. Uh, I'm stockpiling steel and glass for uh, an off world. Here we go into a couple water pumps because water was expensive. And it's, it was better than my farms were doing at the time because farm uh, the food prices crashed. Colonize now has two off worlds. Um, I throw, I think, a dynamite at this one. Yeah. Um, I figured I'll well, pop a gun. There's not much else to do to pop a gun, unfortunately, because that one isn't on a resource, nor is this one. So, you can't pop goons with underground nukes. So, um, he nukes my high water tile, which is unfortunate, but doesn't really hurt too much. It prevents me from um, uh, getting more water out of this faster, but eventually I'll just replace it with a farm or an electrolysis reactor. So, um, yeah, my wind turbines are not paying off my power because of my optimization centers that I have. You're consuming more power than producing another chem surplus, which sucks. Two back here starts buying into colonize. Um, I eventually get... Or Morgan puts up an off-world first and starts building a second one. Um, I get my two off-worlds up here in a little bit. Um, I should be selling my excess steel right now, and probably should be rotating my steel to begin with. It's not... It's not valuable right now. Pirates. I hate this Water stayed a bit higher longer than I would have expected. I optimized power because power is going up, and I sh I'm not yet paying off power. Um, I go for two off-worlds, replacing one of my chem and one of my steel mills. I go for some solar condensers, because oxygen is getting up there and carbon is as well. Um, and here, Colonize buys into me, which I don't really understand. Um, Tubeback does only have one stock in him currently, but um, we'll soon have more um, in him. So, yeah, he buys four of the stocks into me, two of which were double price. I do have more off-worlds. Or, yeah, I do have two off-worlds, whereas Tubeback doesn't have any. But, yeah, here Tubeback just starts buying into Colonize, and then Colonize continues to buy into me instead of fighting back against the person um, who's bought into him. And, 
yeah, I've got my off-worlds. They are both undefended, which is unfortunate, but goons are 70k. And off-worlds were 30... They pay for themselves in two launches, essentially, so... I just kind of have to hope, yeah, something like this happens where dynamite gets thrown around on random stuff. Um, here I'm not auto-selling stuff because... Um, I should be launching fuel here instead of food, but yeah. I'm not auto-selling this because I'm expecting I'm launching it, but I don't end up launching the oxygen, so I sell that down. And here, um, Morgan buys me out, which from Morgan, from Morgan I can understand because he's not attacked by anyone. And that just gives him half a sub that has two off-worlds. Whereas Colonize now has to deal with fighting against two back. And I figure I'll buy into Colonize to kind of, if Morgan buys me out, just to spite him. Because I feel like buying into me is the better... Um, If the game goes really long, and you know that Tubeback won't be able to buy you out, um, it is true Tubeback doesn't really have that much production, so that's a point in your favor, but it's... Yeah, sure, you'll get more sub money by buying me out, but you're more vulnerable yourself by attempting to buy me out instead of Tubeback. So... Um, the yeah, Morgan just buys me out, and at this point I was frustrated with this game and just decided to leave, so we unfortunately don't know who wins. I don't know if there's a way for me to check that from this point of the game because I had left. Um, yeah, Morgan had made the most money, 260 off his Pleasure Dome, um, 10k, he apparently got financial instruments. Um, but he does have a lot that he had to pay in debt. Um, he is he has paid himself back up to AAA, so he's no longer he no longer has debt. Um, so yeah, that was this game. Thank you for watching this episode of In Retrospect.